Who should we watch? That is the question. Let us watch text. Oh, that was exceedingly loud. Good grief. Good morning, one and all. Good morning. With typical professionalism, I slept through my alarm this morning. You'll probably hear that in my voice a little bit, at least until I have my first cup of tea. Are we going? We're going. Good grief. It's the quickest we've ever started a game of any tournament ever. So the first game of the day shall be Tex versus Berserk on Seaval Frontier. Orcs versus Space Marines. A classic matchup, tale as old as time. Turn off Fog of War so we can see what's going on. We have Tex in the red playing as the Commando Knob with... Oh, what, this is the Death Skulls scheme, I believe. And Berserk playing as the Force Commander. Looks like a Ultramarines DLC covered, colored with Blood Angels colors. It's a bit weird, but I like it. It's fine. So obviously everyone knows Tex. A long time old school player. One who had... Not the last league, but the league before that. Berserk, I've not run into before, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Could be one of the Russian players. Oh, I don't run into very much. We have the Commander Knob running into Scouts. This is a horrible place for the Scouts to be. Even though they do find some green cover, but the Commander Knob's going to get in there. Bashing him about with his gun. Chasing him down. Trying to get into the... They're going to lose a model. At least one. Oh. Yep, the last headbutt claims that scout. Meanwhile, the Force Commander and the Tactical Marines are idling next to the generator. This is not a good sign. There we go. Builds standard as they come. Double shooters for Tex. Double scouts for Berserk. Sluggers have managed to make their way into the back lines. Tex going to lose this generator, not even trying to defend it. Meanwhile, Berserk has invested into zero generators only just noting his power now scouts taking cover behind the rocks 
Having to run away now from the uh, onrushing slugger boys. But they just get their uh, shotguns in. Unfortunately, this dude leading the charge gets shotgun down. Losing a couple of sluggers here to the shotgun scouts. And Berserk has completely destroyed all of the power. Pain boy on the way for Tex. Meanwhile, the map is almost completely red. This, uh, this is an interesting strategy here from Berserk, but it's not going to pay off. This is not worth losing the entire map. Now these scouts are going to run into some trouble, being flanked now by shooter boys. They're having to expose themselves either to the commander knob or the shooters. They get shotguns too. So double shotguns in tier one. Oh no. First power purchases. Two generators have gone down. Here comes the stun grenade. Going to catch the tax. But the commando knob goes down. Meanwhile, shooters working on the generators. Bit sloppy there from Tex, losing his commando knob. Feel like he could have uh, just retreated on out of there. Uh, meanwhile, the force commander is being mullered by a pain boy and sluggers. Nice sink kill there from the pain boy. Very cool. But as we can see, the incomes. Huge requisition disadvantage for uh, Berserk, as well as a massive victory point lead for Tex. Obviously, gave up quite a lot of uh, map control to take that early bash. Hasn't really set Tex back all that much. Losing the... Uh, Commander Knob has helped even the scales a little on the requisition front, but, you know, Berserk has spent far more power with two shotguns than Tex. Tex actually only power purchase so far was Pain Boy. Three generators are down for Berserk, so his power income will start kicking off sooner or later. But Tex now repopulating his farm. Obviously considerably more requisition than his opponent. Three wreck points to one. I believe this one was only recently captured. It was, so only, not even fully mature. Where Tex has four fully mature wreck points at this stage. Building up for a very crushing advantage for Mr. Tex here. Tex behind the bunkers. Gonna trade there. Oh, don't run out. Here come the big shooters on the shooter boys. Uh, Tex and Marines retreating maybe a little earlier. Ah, Tex having some hockey issues. That explains a little bit of the sloppiness we've been seeing. Huge investment into the scouts. There we go. It's a re mistake retreat from... Oh no, he, he died on the force commander. Okay. Oh no, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. They're chatting. I'm confused. Oh. So we have two fully upgraded scout squads. Sergeants and shotguns. Two fully upgraded shooter squ boy squads. Big shoot. Oh, here comes the drop pod. It's going to be tactical marines. Dropping right down on the head of the... Uh... Oh, charging into... These tacks are crazy. They're going to wipe if they're not careful. They're definitely going to wipe, there's no... They're f fucked. Hey, boy. I mean, the commander knob should be able to deep finish this on his own, right? Nope. Okay, he decided against it. They got out of there with one model on 51 HP. Meanwhile, the pain boy and the commander knob molesting scouts. Good morning, lunatic. Commander knob being kicked and punched to death, and now being shot at with shotguns and bolters. In the true terms of Force Commander Boreal, we will crush the enemy beneath our boots and shoot them with our bolters. That is what matters, Space Marines. Yes. 
Unfortunately, in this case, Berserk is very far behind economically. We have non-burner sluggers coming into Molester Generator, which they successfully do. But tactical, ones, look, tactical Marines are here to force them away. Oh, no, turning the corner. Here come the sluggers. They're on the charge, but seeing the shotgun scout, they decide wisely that discretion is the better part of valor. Scout's bleeding some more to the shooter boys. Doesn't realize it can shoot through this. And into the garrison goes the second squad of tactical marines. A tactical retreat indeed. But now, with two big shooter shooter boys on the uh, on the power, what is Berserk gonna do? Well, other than lose all his power, of course, that's that's one thing he can do. Tier two on the way for Tex. Tier two can be started by Berserk, but he's gonna lose all his power. He has nothing to uh, counter this. Instead. Both tactical squads are having a firefight with the commando knob in green cover. He can concede. That's always an option. Surrender is always an option. Oh. Here comes a grenade. Slightly off the mark. Scarret's moving into a very dangerous position. Pain Boy's not going to be able to finish him off quite... Is he? Is he? Oh my god, 6 HP. Oof. 6 HP on two models. That's um, a bit lucky. And the commander knob goes down again. The only thing keeping Berserk in this game is the fact that Tex is playing a little sloppy. Here come the burner sluggers now. Tier 2 on the way. Tier 2 in. Now focusing down the drop pod are the Slugger Boys. First purchase in Tier 2. What are we going to see? The truck. Yes. Truck. Followed by Slugger Knob. Followed by Infinite Death. Oh no. He's changed his mind. He's going for the Weird Boy. What did you just spend all your requisition on? Oh, reinforcing most likely. Or he's queued something up. He's queued something up in the HQ. I'll have to see what it is. Running without assault marines is pretty uh, ballsy. I've got to say that. It's a Razorback. But once again, triple cap for, uh, for Tex. Scouts are going to claim the southern one. Good morning, Rostam. How are you? Happy New Year to you, sir. Happy New Year. First game of the New Year for me. I've never heard of Berserk before. Definitely, uh... Definitely not quite on Tex's level. But he's not done too badly, all things considered. Here comes the Razorback. The Force Commander has been uh, lying on the floor taking a nap for the entire thing. He partied a little bit too hard on New Year's Eve. Still feeling the uh, still feeling the effects. Oh my, that's a big hit for me, a weird boy. And now the warp vomit. Warp vomit a bit off target. It did stun the squad that was knocked down, but. Razorback now in play. Just sort of chilling with it. But completely starved of power. This is pretty much the... The whole force that Berserk is going to be able to... Focus on. Deploying a smoke grenade in front. Here come the tank busters. Let's see... Tank busters jump in on them. Everyone jumps into the Razorback and they do the cool slide away. Just reverse. Good job. 
I like the fact that you can see the banners sticking out of the hatch. That's pretty cool. These scouts are going to get messed up by the weird boy. And indeed they do, losing two models. This guy's probably dead. Oh, no. He's alright. He's alright. But before too long, the Berserk is going to run into the problem of running out of victory points. And that is how you lose a game of Dawn of War 2. One, well, one of the ways that you could lose a game of Dawn of War 2. But that is the way that he's going to lose this one. Unless he can push out, take back some victory points. You've got Sluggers guarding the northern one. Nothing's guarding the middle, but, you know, the army is there. And here comes the Death Dread. And at this point, Berserk has to throw his hands up and say, Well, GG, mate. Nothing I can do about that. As this thing can literally just walk into base and kill everything that Berserk has at the moment. Rocket launchers on the tacks. Second rocket launcher, maybe. Ah. Are you stomping? He was made for stomping and fragging. But. Oh, yeah. There's definitely Humies. You're right, Mr. Death Dread. But. 31. 28. The big bar at the top of the screen. Not in Berserk's favor. And at this point, it is all over. Bar the kicking. Bit of a stomp. Not gonna lie, Berserk definitely uh, outclassed in this one. GG's. No worries, no worries. Good morning, Metakalos. Yes, very close. Close and exciting. Could have gone either way. Thank you for the host roster. Right, let's go and uh, watch Life vs. Gordian. See how that goes. Because uh, I don't think there's any world in which Berserk threatens Tex. Greetings, Owls. All right. So here we are. We have... Now, it certainly did. Uh, unf With my standard professionalism, Rostam, I managed to sleep through my alarm and woke up about 10 minutes after the scheduled start. But luckily, this is Dawn of War 2, so nothing had started. Because why would it start? Well, oh yes, oh yes. Well, at least with this tournament, you don't have to worry about 
hero picks and bans and shit like that. You just play the damn game. That is the curse of our competitive scene. Chain AFKing. Someone goes to smoke. They come back. The other person goes to smoke. Then there's arguments about who's picking what. Who picks first. Who picks the map. Who picks heroes. Oh, you've already played that hero. You can't play it again. No, I lost with the hero, so I can play it again. That's not what the rules say. Let's consult the rules. And so on and so on and so on. All in all... The simpler tournaments tend to be the more enjoyable ones. Oh, looks like we got Nids versus Chaos Lord. Where did all these Chaos Lord mains come from? They just appeared out of nowhere one day. Don't say the warp. That's too easy. Anytime something chaotic appears, you could just say the warp, and that's a decent answer to where did it come from, but that's lazy. That's laziness. Highest IQ Chaos Lord. Yes. Yes. I like it. Only Giga Brains need apply. Alrighty. So we, uh. You're Australian, so you don't need to shower. Don't pretend to me you have standards. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. It's Green Teeth Jungle. Playing in the red. As the Black Legion. It is Gordian Vorunthul as the Chaos Lord. The only blood your Chaos Lord spills is his own. Ah, uh, versus Life, playing as the Farseer. Now, those of you who have been, uh, here for with me for previous tournaments which i think is everyone at this stage know that i have a slight bias against the ponzi elder and this this is true this is true i do i do despise the little elvish bastards so i think we can all get behind our big boy the chaos lord here Yes, agents of the great enemy. Oh, fuck your pillar. And your couch. <laughs> You'll kill the weak to knock her off the cap there. And she fleets away like the little coward that the Eldar are. Doesn't want to fight like a man with the Chaos Lord. To be fair, I wouldn't want to fight like a man with the Chaos Lord either. But I'm not a space witch. So... You know, slight differences, slight differences. Life looking to get the shuriken out early, it looks like. A regular witch, yeah, that's me. And no problem, but not space witch. Here comes the first shuriken, and now that this is where the fun begins. I think anyone's shit talking the Swedes or shit talking the Aussies. We would never sh shit talk the Swedes, Kurt. They're, they're a chaos, a chaos, a chaos. They're cultured, a cultured and, and wonderful group of people. Wait, what? Eldar aren't Swedish. Explain yourself. Explain this nonsense. This heresy. Yeah. Oh yes. Now this is the only bad thing about the Chaos Lord. 
which is that he is a big, beefy boy, but he's got a weak right arm, you know, and that's the arm he holds his sword arm, and his chopping arm isn't very strong. You know, it's strong enough that like, it'll kill a farce here at this point. And now the Banshees are in trouble. They're just mashing themselves against the wall of flesh that is the Chaos Lord. Heretics going after the generators got shot a bunch by guardians but it looks like they took down a generator harness of, oh that's dark halo my bad noise marines are up elder from south korea well i think well the eldar are based off elves obviously which are often based off celtic peoples so, you know, the indigenous peoples of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Yeah, well, not just Northern Ireland, the whole of Ireland, actually, but, you know. Yes, generally speaking, that's what the uh, elves in fantasy universes are based loosely on. There we go. This isn't going to go so well for you, lads. There's noise marines here. And with the cornet worship... Oh, there we go. The second squad manages to set up, but not in time. And they get shut down by the noise marines as well. Pretty, uh... Here comes the grenade. Dodged. And life calls it. Uh-oh. So apparently every game that we're going to watch this morning is going to be a big stomp. But life realizing, not much you can do there. He got beaten pretty handily in the early engagements. Oh yeah, Sigvold. Sigvold, the Magnificent. He was the uh, champion of Slanesh. Can't remember how, oh, Krell gets him, I think. I think Krell gets him. But that is, of course, the end times that we don't talk about because it's shite. Yeah, you don't want to join Sigvald's warband because he's he'll kill you if you're not pretty enough, but also if you're too pretty, he'll kill you. Which is uh, that's a that's a thin line to, to tread. Well, and all of the uh, you know incessant rogering. That's uh, let's go watch Gordian versus Twilight. Yes, beautiful music.
Gordian is preparing himself for a, a vicious double sentinel strategy from Twalali. A, no, a well-known abuser of IG. What the fuck is happening here? Here we go. Alright. Twalali playing with the power of Inakura. Channeling all of the abuse that is known between the IG mains. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Where am I kidding? Here we go, gentlemen. Double Sentinel on Green Tooth Jungle Redo. Gordian abandoning the path of corn. Cowardly in the face of Double Sentinel. Going at the play champion. And Tuolali. The mustachioed menace. It is the Lord General. Quite a strong hero, I think that's fair to say. But in the red, oh, that's blue. In the blue, playing as the play champion, it is Gordian Vorenthal. And in the red, playing as the Lord General, the mustachioed menace, he who holds a bolter one handed. He's stolen it. Good grief. The Ethiopian poisonous caterpillar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The tilt is uh, is very much on in this game. What do you reckon in a cure? Double CSM? I think double CSM. Yep. Here's the first sentinel. Here he is. Le balanced tier one bane blade. The stomp is being upgraded. Heretics, they know not the danger they're in. Oh, they do chop up some guardsmen quite nicely. Oh my god, they chop up a ton of guardsmen. That's fine. Uh, this isn't going to work, Gordy. Hello. Oh, bonk. Wow, my frames just dropped hard there. How are they still decapping whilst they're flying through the air? That's some... Adilla, explain yourself. 
LA champion is going to go up and fist a stormtrooper. I don't think he wins this fight, though. Lord General's not a slouch in melee. CSM coming into melee the guardsmen. They definitely win that fight. And a sentinel coming in. He's looking. He's going to raise his leg like a dog on a tree. Here it is. Bonk. And now he retreats. Shielding himself behind the repairing guardsmen. Who are trying desperately not to get absolutely mauled by double CSM. But are failing to do so. Lord General on the back lines. Going to get turned upon. You think you could defeat us, Commander? Oh, uh, yes. Actually, I believe he does. That's why he has two Sentinels. Ha 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 ha. Oh, moonwalking for dominance. Yes. You must assert your dominance by walking, uh, walking backwards. And here he comes. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Stomp. There we go. And now he fucks off into the night. His work here is done. Mental damage inflicted. Noise Marine? Noise Marines? Hmm. Let me tell Yes. Inakura has said it. Noise Marines is a throw versus double sentinel. Yes. Because the sentinel walks at you. And the noise marines go, oh shit, and get stomped. There's the cacophony. So now they're just being meat shields in the front. Gonna go down here, one. Trying to heal them up with some nurgly worship. And here come the march of the sentinels. So he's gonna raise his leg and retreat on out of there. And it's a full army retreat from Gordian. Surrendering map control to the Imperial Guard. Alrighty. Yeah, you gotta think Havocs might have been a better choice, but... Hello, Snow. Mod check. Mod check. Everyone on their best behavior. Oh, this sentinel's buggered. That was miscontrolled. Further mental da mental damage. Uninflicted? Healed? Yes. That's a huge mental victory for Gordian. Oh, la stomp. Good. Shoot the guardsman. Pew, pew, pew. Your units your the chaos are indeed behind you, Mr. Guardsman. Flee for your lives. Uh, I don't know. I, I assume he's been playing a bit. But it's also Twilight, so he could just be rusty as hell. And now Gordian has a huge push coming in on the power with the uh, mucus discharge. Lord General running in. He wishes to challenge the uh, CSM in close quarters combat. A heavy weapons team is not setting up properly. Here comes the noise marines manfully striding into the fray. Looking to get a cacophony but not able to do so. They cannot abide the firepower. But these guardsmen are going to die, if until they're not careful. And they are careful, and they retreat. But Twalali put push back into his base, Gordian you're not able to bash any power. Here's a heavy weapon scene. Now eternal war on the CSM. CSM suppressed. Play champion cares very little for suppression. This sentinel! Oh, Lord. Well, 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Bit of a yikes here from the old toilet boy. The uh, eternal darkness of Finland has uh, settled in his brain, it seems. These guardsmen are going to get ruined by the eternal wog sense. These aren't sentinels, these are CSM. I've got sentinels on the brain. Yeah, just, just bu build more guardsmen. Oh, here we go. It's not going to work. These are noise marines, sir. That's not how you fight them. And the Lord General goes down. Absolute fucking disaster to end tier one there for Twal Ali. It was all looking so good. And then, like, the, the dominoes falling down one by one. It cascaded to disaster. I got excited because I thought I said Olev for a second, but it's Oleg. I miss Olev. I mean, if he didn't lose the Sentinels, that push would have never happened. But then he lost the Sentinels, the push happened, and uh, it was unstoppable. There was, there was nothing that... Well, what was he going to do? Like, you can't fight Noise Marines, Heretics, Eternal War, CSM, with two Guardsmen and a Heavy Weapon Team. Alright, we're blaming lag. Uh, Gordian. Okay, two turns. It started out pretty well, but then we once the Sentinels went down. That was kind of it. Uh, Gordon won. The, uh, the double sentinel did not, uh, yes, Gordon Freeman came. Turns out that's how you, he is generally. I don't know if you want to play Chaos Lord against Imperial Guard when you have Options of PC. Hi, joking. I'm dad. That is a cool elephant. Where'd you get that? Yes, the dog is cooler. My sweet Finley boy, who is currently curled up 
in a ball under a blanket in his bed because it's fucking freezing. And I'm too cheap to turn the heating on. Baba boom. And here comes the Biper. No, that was a terrible accident. Excuse me. That was more like Scandinavian than... Well, actually, it was more Dutch. It was more Dutch than Spanish. How's the... Uh... I gotta do an Australian stream. No, I'm I'm not gonna do that. I have standards for us down. Oh my god, I station obelisk. Okay. I feel like I haven't seen this map ever? Question mark? Hello, Panini. Alrighty. Let's see if Tuala Lee can pull his dick out of the blender and actually uh, not lose everything in the final fight of Tier 1. Yeah. Not ideal. Not ideal. Play champion versus the Imperial Guard on Ice Station Obelisk. In the red. Which is blue again. Apparently I'm colorblind this morning. It is Gordian Vorenthul playing as the Plague Champion. Versus Twalali playing as the Lord General. This is such a strange map. Like, what the hell is this? Anyway, uh, morning Strider, yes this is indeed a tournament, and it started about an hour ago, give or take. Lord General gunning down heretics, as is his passion, his purpose for existence, and here comes the first sentinel, it does not yet have a stomp. CSM taking cover behind the boxes, the sentinel should just stomp on them. I guess we're shooting heretics instead. Gordian! There we go. Losing nearly all his heretics. Hey, fuck your boxes. And seeing that upgrade come in, the CSM decide to get the fuck out. Meanwhile, gu Guardsman fighting a Plague Champion. Lucky not to lose a model. Must have spotted that danger quite quickly. And here comes Node Abuse. I'm 
Sentinel being repaired up nicely. What did this much damage to Sentinel? I guess the... Uh, uh, when are you going to play piano? Are you? If you wait until after the series, I can hop into uh, into yours, but I don't know if... Right now. Yeah, in, in which case I probably won't... Hello, uh, Stomp. Yeah, you should... Uh, yeah, fire up, fire up your own stream, maybe for that one, because I'm gonna jump out of this one. Oh, there we go. You got a stream in them. Good luck, retards. I mean, what? All right. Anyway, back to the actual game at hand. The double sentinels are in. Heretics worshipping on the high ground. But Chaos Forces push back into their base again. This is exactly what happened last time. Let's see if uh, Twalali can avoid fucking everything. Killing power and going for the decap. Here's a note. Eternal war on the way. Already in for the CSM. Pushing down the hill with support of worshipping heretics behind the... I assume this is a shot blocker. Elevation in this game can be... Um, what's the word? Buggy as fuck? Yes, yes, that would, that would cover it, yeah. I don't think he's going to put a turret there. He might be a disgusting IG main, but he's not an abuser. But yeah, the turret would have been a good play. Set it up in an unflankable position. Actually, this map would be horrible against a decent tech marine player or mech boy. Charging forward is the Sentinel. Or, or Plague Champion, yeah, but... I assume we'll see grenade launches on the Heretics at some point, but... You know, at the, this point they're just being used as worship support. I wonder how fucked the uh, grenade launchers get with the elevations, though. I, that, that's that's the only thing I'm concerned about with grenade launchers on this map. You know, you, you try and shoot models upstairs and they just hit the top of the stairs and... Run! We have Kath Jones coming out. Someone yesterday in the Discord asked for is asked a very very general question. Tips for IG. And one of my tips was that Kath Chins are pretty good. Twala Lee. Subscribing to my guide on IG play. Really? I like Kath Chins. Well, they're pretty good against double CSM, because you just... Oh, you do that. You blast them. Stop that ship. Blast them. Oh, I see. A spotter enjoyer. Uh-oh. Oh, I've seen this film before. Ellie up. 
Nice retreat there on the way. Gonna try and shock at a model to death. No such luck. Hello, Venji. Well, so far this game's going better than game one for Twilight, in as much as he hasn't screwed the pooch and lost everything. Yet. You know, I'll, I'll, pref I'll put a yet at the end of that, just in case, you know. We're gonna... Are you idiot? We are not. Noise Marines. Walking in. Med pack delivered to the Cathogens who get rinsed on approach by the Havocs. Oh, this sentinel might have got himself into a weird position. No, he's alright. He managed to path around it. Oh, it's just a play champion here. Hello, sir. Welcome to the guard lines. Hello. Honk. Play champion. Learning about the X key. Very good against Imperial Guard is the old X key. And now, worship. Oh, six, seven. Oh, so close, but not enough. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it is the way of it. Med Sergeant dies instantly. Tier 2 on the way for Twala Lee, but how is he going to hold this power farm? I have a uh, sneaking suspicion he isn't. It was 6 HP Twala Lee, I was looking. So my voice reminds me of a guardsman or perhaps a guardsman sergeant. Well, that's just because I'm English. Oh my god, look at all of this. This is hell! This is hell for the guard here. What a fucking joke of a fight. Oh no. Oh no. Sentinel, you can do it. No, you can't do it. Second Sentinel. Oh, no. And the walls come tumbling down. We lost Guardsmen. We lost Sentinels. The end of Tier 1 has been the downfall of Twilali to this point. He did actually make it to Tier 2 this time, but... Uh, this is uh, an ungodly amount of chaos stuff to deal with. Both players in tier 2. Toxic Venture. Oh, here comes a Basilisk Barrage. Hello! Good morning! Fuck you! And you! And you, Sentinel! And again! Oh, and the fun cloud. Just for... Shiggles, I guess? It's like the T-pose at the end. Oh, here comes a very low health Sentinel. Uh-oh. That's play champion, sir. Run away! Fuck your communications tower. Lurking in wait. Heretics have been waiting for this exact moment. Aha! Ring, ring, ring! It's the based police. There we go. We have stormtroopers. Stormtroopers are good. But I don't think they're this good. They're not going to win the fight against... Uh, okay. I feel like perhaps that retreat wasn't necessary, but... Sure. Blastmaster on the field. One of the coolest sounding weapons in the game. And the Chaos Dreadnought. 
and this shall be the doom of Twali. Already gone for assault kit on the stormtroopers. Second squad coming. Could go for anti armor on these lads. Catachans. Decapping. Putting down an IED. There's actually no detection for Gordian. He doesn't have an AC. So the IED could do some work. If he happens to walk over it. Let's see if Stormtrooper Spam gets the job done. Sneaky, sneaky, catchy monkey. Pew, 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 pew. Fuck your play champion. You do a lot of damage to Stormtroopers. I do like them. I like Stormtroopers a lot. These ones are chilling. Can't decide what they want to be. Do they want to be anti-armor? Do they want... Ah, there's the AC. He worked it out. Play champion taking a... The hell of a lot of damage, yeah. Slowly but surely, Twally is going to get starved out of this game. You can't take a decisive engagement. There they are. There's the anti-armor kit for these storms. Where is the Blastmaster and what is it shooting at? Aha! Oh, Lord. No. You have to flank him, mate. You can't just stand in front of him. Well, the anti-armor kit stormtroopers have made short work of the dreadnought, along with the melter gun on the storm on the uh, Lord General. But now this squad is useless, and what's going on over here? Oh, guardsmen finding Chaos Space Marines. I guess they can bash. That's a good point, actually. They can sneak around and shoot gens. Yeah. Yeah, not not the best play. That's sort of a, a me-level Dreadnought play. It's like, oh, I'm a Dreadnought. I just charge and I kill everything. And then you die instantly to some bullshit. But I am, reportedly, renownedly terrible at this game. Alright, let's see if the stormtroopers have learned their lesson. Oh, these CSM. These are guys are in a, a bit of problems, but luckily they have an X button. Gatachan's charging forwards. Uh, auto cannon set up on the high ground. Uh, blood rate? The, oh, yeah, blood letters coming in. The old reliable knocking back the blood letters. Clearing a path for retreat. But that's all she wrote, folks. Gay gay. Mel to stormtroopers do really good damage with the CSM. You're not wrong. Perhaps I was a little hasty in saying that they were useless. Forgive me for my hyperbole. He did not do you proud. Alrighty, let's have a look at the bracket. Who is winning? Who is Tia player? Oh, that's Ilya. Uh, okay. Best noob versus Zev. That's a yikes from me, dog. Tex versus Arctic Frenzy. Could be fun.
Uh, there is a there's a loser's bracket. There it absolutely is. I guess the best noob is uh, going under the pseudonym of Lamar Gotham at the moment. And it's true, he does, he does got him. Fuck you, tournament horses. Who is the tier player? I have no idea who that is. <laughs> 